Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.3.3.6 .3 Configuring Router on a Stick Inner VLAN Routing. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Routing and Switching Essentials Version 6 curriculum. Now in this particular video we are kind of going to the next level. Before we were configuring VLANs, but it was to segregate traffic, and it's still segregating traffic here. But what if multiple VLANs want to talk across each other? So, for instance, here we got PC1 and VLAN 10, PC3 and VLAN 30. What if we want to talk across them? Well, if you do, you need to involve a router, the help of a router. Now, we looked at in the curriculum, a legacy version of this is not to do the dot one Q encapsulation. You would need a port for every VLAN that you have. So if you got two VLANs, you need two ports. The best, most efficient way to do that is to use sub interfaces here. So you'll notice this G0 slash zero dot something. That is a sub interface. So there's going to be a sub interface for this physical interface to carry the VLAN traffic. So we need to configure things on the switch as well as the router appropriately. So the first thing we're going to do on switch one is create our VLANs. Now we should know how to do that by this point. Okay, so we'll do VLAN 10, exit out, VLAN 30. They do not have you name these particular VLANs. Um, if you do name them something different, it won't work. So make sure you just do VLAN 10, VLAN 30. Don't name them anything else, okay? Now, of course, real world, you could. It's not going to affect anything. And then, to, of course, to check, we want to do show VLAN brief. Okay. The default names here are VLAN 0010 and VLAN 0030 because we didn't change the name. Okay. Now, pings from PC1 to PC3 should fail. Why? Let's look at it. All right. We need to assign the FA06 and FA011 as well. So let's go into interface FA011. That's connected to PC1 over there. So we're going to do switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 10. Then interface FA06 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30. So this one's going to carry 30 traffic to PC3. That one's going to carry 10 traffic to PC1. Okay. Now, the pings will fail because we have no way of talking across VLANs. We have to involve a router if we want to talk from VLAN to VLAN. And they're not in the same VLAN. Okay. So to do that, we're going to configure our sub interfaces. So we can close out of S1. And again, before we do that, again, show VLAN brief. We want to make sure these are in the correct VLAN. So FA011 and VLAN 10, FA06 and VLAN 30. So let's go to R1. Okay. What we want to do is we want to configure the sub interfaces. So we'll do interface G0 slash 0. And we're going to turn on the physical port. That's all we do is just no shut. We just want to turn it on. Leave it alone after that. We're doing no IP addressing on the physical port. You just turn it on. Where we do our addressing is on the sub interfaces. So we'll do interface G0 slash 0.10 after we turn that one on. And there is an IP address for that. This is kind of like the default gateway for that. VLAN 10 and PC1 over there. So it's going to be IP add 172.17.10.1.255.255.255. Oh, sorry. Before we do that, we got to set up our encapsulation. We can't do that until we set up the encapsulation. So we do dot one Q encap 10. Encap dot one Q 10. What that does is it lets the sub interface G0 slash 0.10 know I'm carrying VLAN 10 traffic. It encapsulates it with the VLAN 10 um, tag. So then we'll do 
IP add 172.17.10.1. So you can't you see you can't even set the IP address until you do that. And it's already turned on because we had turned on the physical port. But if you didn't turn on the physical port first, you do need to do no shut. Okay. Now let's configure the other one. Interface G0 slash 0 0.30. You need a sub interface for every VLAN that you have. So if you had 10 different VLANs, you need 10 different sub interfaces. Okay, so we'll do, and we kind of keep the naming consistent. Whatever the physical port is, zero slash zero, and then dot whatever VLAN it is. That's just the easiest way to do it. Um, NCAP dot one Q 30 for the tagging of VLAN 30. And then we're going to do IP add 172.17.30.1, 255.255.255.255. And it's already on, so we should be good there. Now, that will handle routing the VLANs between each other. The other things we want to do, make sure PC1, again, has that sub interface as its default gateway, so it'll know to contact R1. Okay, so basically the way the traffic is going to go is it's going to go from R or from PC1 to switch one. Okay, it knows to carry just VLAN 10 traffic. Then it's going to go up to R1. This one's going to carry all VLAN traffic. It's going to go to G0 slash 0 0.10. Then it's going to hop over to G0 slash 0 0.30, go back down to switch one, then go over to PC3. Now, how do we carry all VLAN traffic between here on the switch? Well, remember we had to put that port in trunking mode. Right now, it is not. So we need to go into interface G01, switch port mode trunk. Okay, we have to set up, and this is G01 on this end, G00 on the R1 end, G01 on the switch end. We got to put that in trunking mode. A lot of people forget that. If you don't put it in trunking mode, it's not going to carry multiple VLANs. It has to carry VLAN 10 and 30 traffic to send up to R1. Okay, so again, Let's fast forward time a little bit here. We should be able to now ping from PC1 to PC3. Okay, and you see it says successful and back across. Now, before we would have not been able to do that because PC1 and PC3 are in two different VLANs. But now when we involve that router, we allow inner VLAN communication instead of just intra VLAN. All right. So we call that router on a stick and we got 60 out of 60 here. So make sure again, you want to make sure that your ports are in the right mode, access or trunk. Trunk is the one going to the router, access still going to just the end devices. And if you have more than one switch here, you'd also want to make sure that they were trunk mode between your switches. <laughs> You want to make sure that you set up the right VLAN for the access modes. And then here, you want to make sure you set up the sub interfaces correctly. G00 is the physical port. You have to turn that on, but you put no IP addressing on that. You only put it on the sub interfaces. All right. And you have to set up the encapsulation for the specific VLAN 10 or 30 or whatever number you have before you can even set up the IP address. So it kind of warns you there so you can't forget it. All right, so that ends and concludes inter VLAN routing.